comments on what we're doing here and what the problem is in Mauritania. Yeah, we, uh, my name is Amadou Jibril. The reason we gather here is uh, to rally against what's going on in Mauritania, Republic of Islamic Mauritania, led by uh, so-called uh, Mohammed Ul Hazwani and his uh, government. So uh, they've been known by uh, mistreating population and uh, there is no justice there is no equality right so that's the reason why we came here to show the world here in front of United Nations headquarters to show the world that what's going on in Mauritania is not fair so we need justice so you see like thousands of Mauritanians yes. flew from that regime came here to the United States of America seeking asylum because back home is not safe so they run away to save their lives and you know imagine those people who don't have possibility to leave the country so since 1960 up to now Mauritania is led by the military so from one regime to another it's just military people that lead the country. So enough is enough. So that's why yes. we gather here in, in, uh, in front of the headquarters of the United Nations to express to the world the injustice that has been done in our country. We love Mauritania so much. It's a diversity, it's a multicultural country, but it's only one tribe or one ethnic group that lead the country. 15%. So, and then uh, young, all these people, I could tell you like 80% of them finish their colleges, universities. They don't have no job because of discrimination. So that's the reason why we're here. So we have a lot of, um, is in the discourse, a lot of young men, women, Africans are crossing the Atlantic, crossing the Mediterranean, crossing the, um, the Sahara Desert, trying to leave. Exactly. And we're in New York. I feel like I'm in Mauritania. Exactly. You know, so... What do you have to say to that? What well, can our governments do to improve? I know it's very course. risky yeah. to risk their life to cross all this Atlantic Ocean and all like, maybe like eight hours on a flight. Sometimes those who have a chance to get a visa, but you can't. So a lot of them they flew the country because they fear, because of fear. That's why they here. And then we have both genders, men and women. So that's, that tells you, that give you a signal like we are returning to the same country. Yeah. Well, we'll do our best. We're documenting all the protests and putting it across to all the government. So we'll do our best to... Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, thank you. Thank, thank you so thank much. You so much. Well, can I say something too? Sure, please. This is my brother. My name is Bubel. I'm from Mauritania. And um, I live in Philadelphia. I've been living here for almost 18 years or over 18 years. And what uh, my brother was just saying about Mauritania is not something like someone just come up and created or make it. It, just is, it is the reality of that country. Um, one thing a lot of people, they need to know, Mauritania is a diversity country and the population is almost 4 million. And the majority of the population are black. 85% of the population are black. But the whole government, the whole government is only one tribe, one ethnic group like that lead that country since we had independence in 1960. And right now, as I am talking to you right now, the current president of Mauritanian parliament, his name is uh, uh, General Ul Muget. He is the, uh, he's uh, one of the, Churchill, one of the, Guy, one of the men who killed that 28 soldier in 1990, 1991 uh, to celebrate Mauritanian Independence Day. That's why as a black Mauritanian, we never celebrate the Mauritanian Independence Day. Never. Never. We don't, we call that day, um, I don't know how to say, how to say it. It's a sad day for all of all of Mauritanians. We never, you know how all the African countries celebrate their independence, bring food, entertainment, we don't do that. It's a sad day for us. So we are here today 
to let the whole world know how black people live or how black people be treated in Mauritania. It's not fair. We are in 21st century, you know, what we need is justice. You know, we gotta, they killing the kids left and right. Justice never been served. You know, you can go to school and have all kind of type of degrees, but you're never gonna get a job. That's why those people, flew, they, they run from that country, they come here. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, one more thing that I forgot to mention about yes. the land grabbing. Mm -hmm. So we leave. Let me pause one second. Carry on. Yeah, one more thing we forgot to mention about the land grabbing. So Mauritania is divided in two. The Sahara, which is the north, and the Sahel, which is the south, by the Senegalese river. And the majority of black people live in the, in the, in the south. So, there is, there is a government that comes to the, uh, to the south, always grabbing people's land. So by force, you, you in your village, you have your farm, and they came and uh, they just grab your land, even though you have papers, you, you know, you, Recently, recently, like the United Nations intervened, and that's why a lot of people get back their land. But it's continuous issues. Or that's what Does this have to do with black Mauritanians or light skin? Or, or it doesn't just, just matter? It's only the black Mauritanians. Only the black Mauritanians. All the, only, only the black Mauritanians. So are you trying to tell me that there's some kind of racism going on within yes. That's, that's Mauritania? A, yes, that's a, name, that's a main, yeah, main it's thing. known by racism. Because recently, they killed like a... a some young leaders, one of them is named uh, Suvi, and the other one is named uh, Umar Jok. Umar Jok. So the police, the police officers just take them, randomly pick them on the crowd, like you know, when they organize rally. Sometimes it's not, just they pick them from a certain point, bring them to the precinct, and all of a sudden, they like, oh, they, 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 he's dead. So and these that's are what people's the, children. That's what they live on a daily basis. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Señora, por I favor, quiero to... hablar con este gente. Cuando te habla español, español, este gente que ha escapado para venir aquí a Mauritania. Okay. Thank you. I don't... Este, tú I sabes, you este. A little bit of Spanish, if you follow. Oh, sure. Okay. Just a little bit of Spanish. Okay. 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 Es que es todo el mundo que está aquí para escapar para venir aquí. Yo voy a hablar con donde ya pasamos. Pasamos antes mi caravana para venir aquí. Decimos, hay serpente, hay todo, hay todo, hay uno que ya ha muerto, hay uno que ya ha muerto hay para venir aquí, pagamos dinero, hay policía que paga la gente, paga su, uh, su dinero, hace dos meses caminando para venir aquí, así somos de venir aquí para solamente, para venir aquí a Estados Unidos, vale, gracias. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Help me take a picture. I want to get a picture of myself. Sure. I'm walking. You want to come this Can way? Can you see me? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> ah. You can come around here. Yeah, I will. I just want to be walking first. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Okay, let me do one real quick. Thank you. We were speaking with our people from Mauritania and from what we've heard, we've had a lot of, um, uh, this is the protest area of the United Nations by the way, and from what we've heard, there's a lot going on in Mauritania that needs to be um, addressed, as with a lot of the governments here. So we hope and, uh, that the governments are listening, all the governments that have been addressed here are listening and that you know, all of these uh, lives and uh, uh, those, are people, those, are people, those are two people who got recently got killed. Three people, yeah. three people recently. Yeah. Three people yeah. like, not even present. Not even, not even like, not even like four months. Like, no, this guy is. This one is two months ago. This one is February. I forgot this one one month, but this is on the recently. This guy. Yeah, Mauritanian currency, come on. Yeah. And they, they want to take his money, the police, and they, he, he refused. Yeah. So they take him to the police station, and then six in the morning, they take him to the hospital. They call his family to come pick him up. To, to that, is, him. that is terrible. There, there's a lot going on, a not just in Mar Mauritania, across the countries. And we're here um, in, on the protest um, ground, and a lot of countries are protesting and airing out their grievances. So I do hope that the government of Mauritania is listening and that. That the voices of the citizens count. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for Thank this you. opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So how are we going to get in touch? I'll give you my card. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Excuse me. Excuse me.